This video is my answer to the challenge accordion that was put forth by Makers Creative Collab, sponsored by PM Artist Studio. It is a group of 10 or more creatives that get together on a monthly basis to answer the challenge with our interpretation in video format. So please check the description down below. You'll see all of the other videos and their links there, as well as in my end screen, you can hop to the next video. My name's Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mix Media. I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe. I try to create short, concise videos that are to the point, not a lot of chatter, but I will show you what I'm going to do, do it, and then show you what I've done. If you want to catch me on the web or other places, I'm working on my website, have a Facebook group, not so good on Instagram, but I'm getting there. 11 by 15 inch, 140 pound watercolor paper was cut in half to create two five and a half by 15 inch pieces. I scored those at five inches and combined two. Next, I cut 12 pieces of four inches by four and a half inches. I have taped those down because I am going to monoprint on those. So I've used artist tape to kind of give myself a border on each of those four by four and a half inch pieces. Now I have just torn some paper and I'm laying that down on top of each sheet. I am going to utilize this wax paper to monoprint. So I've crumpled it up and I am covering it with some black ink. Now I'm just gonna lay the black ink down and mask off where those sheets of paper are and get the um, crinkle effect or pick up the wrinkles in the wax paper on each of these. I'm just adding some more paint and I am using a Mars black acrylic paint. And there was no real rhyme or reason to what I mask off. I just wanted to just give it some differentiation one from the other. Now I'm taking the wax paper back to the piece and I have a toothpick in my hand and I am just kind of sketching on that toothpick on the back of that wax paper so every place I touch with that toothpick the black ink will transfer. So let's take a look at what we created. So I think this creates kind of an abstract looking piece of art and I have framed it off with that um, artist tape and I think this is going to look really nice on my accordion fold. So I have a fine tip Sharpie and I am hand writing Dr. Seuss quotes around the outside edge of where we delivered that black and white print or black and white mono print with the wax paper. So how simple is that?
So now that we have all of the quotes written, I am going to utilize my gel press and coat or deliver a background onto the accordion journal or accordion booklet that we have created. So I want there to be kind of a dark background for all of these quotes that we just put together. So I'm just utilizing the same Mars Black. I'm taking my gel press and just moving from the gel press directly to the journal and hitting it with my brayer. There is nothing magic artistic about that. It's just getting some black ink down so we have a background. And we'll do that on both sides. Just hitting it with the brayer, hitting it with the gel press, black ink, dark background, quick, easy. We'll finish this soon and start getting this journal put together. So there we go. So now that we have it all inked up or painted up, I guess should be the word I use, I'm going to take the ink pad and go around the outside edges and hit each fold with the black ink. This is a complete black and white project. And there we go. So let's see how these are, are going to look on here. And I think that's going to look nice. And see if I can keep my hands clean and keep from marring these up. I have these little photo corners, just like the they used to use back in the 50s and 60s in photo albums. And I am going to glue those to the outside edge of each of these and adhere them to the journal. And we'll do that for each one on each fold of this journal. So I've completed enough of the quotes, enough of the monoprints, wrote the quote around the outside edge of the monoprints, to, to cover each of these pages. I'm happy with that. I tend to like just black and white, simple black and white things. But I am going to add some color to this journal. And I will do that in the form of a signature. So stay tuned, and you'll see where I put that signature. Okay, so I think one can go right there. So we'll just fold over some white paper. And that signature will fit nicely there. And this folds out nice. And let's see, we want to put those signatures in the valleys. And I'm adding in some blue. And I have just taken a texture plate. I'm going to use a little bit of cardboard. And I want to just get some color onto our signature pages. And I'm sticking with that light blue and the phalo blue. And that's just a sink mat that I've used. And I'm just gel pressing the color right onto these signature pages. So we'll get all of those done. 
and completed and let them dry and fold them into the signatures. That's one of the PM Artist Studio stencils I just pulled out there. So here we have all of the signature pages. Let's fold those in half. I'm going to hit them with my bone folder. And I think I have decided where I want them. So we'll put one here, and then when you flip it over, you'll find the other one. So now that we have all that together, I want to devise a way to hold this together. And while I have my ink out, I think I will go ahead and dye this fabric. So I just, it's not ink, it's paint. I put a little bit of paint into my better tub, filled it with water, and I am going to dunk my cheesecloth down in there. And I've used some, I went back and put some violet in as well into those signatures. So now I have that violet color on my cheesecloth. We'll dry that up. And now that we have determined that, let's get this signature sewn in. So I poked three holes in the signature. I'm going to line that up and I'm going to go right through those holes I poked and poke right through the book with a threaded needle. We'll start in the center hole, go from the inside out And we will come back from the lower, go back to the center, and come back and tie it off. And there we have the signature in. And now we'll put one on the other side as well. There's your signature on this side. Then you keep flipping. And when you get to the other side, you also have a signature and another. So we have two signatures on one side, one signature on the other, a total of three signatures. We will tie those off with this paint dyed piece of cheesecloth. And there you go. We'll go through the book one more time. So you open that up. You have your signature. And I added in little places to add quotes on the signatures. That's why we're going through it again. And I just cut some pieces of white paper out and glued them down, hit them with a stamp. I didn't want to take you through that. I think it's pretty self-explanatory by the second flip through. This is what it looks like from the top down. And that completes my version of accordion. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll take time to check out all of the other talented creatives. Mine piece was a black and white mono printed accordion folded journal with three signatures. And this is the finished piece. So once again, thank you for so much for joining us for the Makers Creative Collab. I hope you will join us monthly because we are doing this about the same time every month with a different prompt. Hope to see you next month. Bye for now.